Hi guys, I'm back today with just a couple of random hauls and some rambling. Um, so a couple of these things came in, um, I don't know if it was last week or the week before, um, and then I just got some more yesterday. So uh, first of all, a couple of weeks back, um, scrappyland.com, it's spelled with one P, um, had all their washi tape on sale for $1.50 a roll. So I jumped on that and I got a couple of new rolls of washi. So the first one I got was this gray airmail stripe. Um, this one, the name of it was Tangerine Dot, but it's more of like a coral pink color and I absolutely love it. I got some of this from Vanessa a while back and um, I have been hoarding it because I just loved the coral color <laughs> and so now I have a whole roll and I didn't even know I was ordering it so that's nice. Um, then I got just a couple of basic patterns. Um, I just got these stripes. I got black and white stripe which I'm obsessed with, um, red and white stripe and green and white stripe. So I have a thing for black and white stripes that, that carries on over into a lot of different <laughs> parts of my life. Um, so I totally love this one. And then I also got this black and white chevron that I really, really like. Um, I did get one more, but it the description on the site was different than the washi that I got. So I ended up giving that one to my sister-in-law because she really liked it and I knew I would never use it. So, um, But yeah, so $1.50 a roll, I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I'm storing my washi tape in these little, um, like, they're like clear paint cans. I know that Michael sells these. I don't know if Joann's does or not. Um, but I've got them kind of color coordinated. So this one's my blues and greens, and if I ever get purple, I will put that in here. And then I have like red, orange, yellow, and pink in here. And then my neutrals go in here. So I've got quite a few rolls now, which I'm really, really happy with. And I really like these. I actually got these at Big Lots for 50 cents a piece, which is a crazy deal. And I was really, really happy to get that awesome of a deal. So those are my new washi storage now that I have several. Um, so that's it from Scrappy Land. And then from Paper Tray Ink, I needed to get some more cardstock because I love their Stamper Select white cardstock. I use it for card bases, for coloring on with my Prismas, um, just everything. So while I was there, I decided to go ahead and get the stamp set that I've had my eye on. Um, it's been sold out the last few times. It was released in February, I think, um, but it's called Stylish Sentiments Birthday, and you can kind of see all the different fun birthday sentiments, and um, because of this stamp set, I have decided to do a birthday card series. Um, I do have one more card to upload um, for my spring card series that's already done. I just need to edit the video and then post it. And then, I'm not positive, but I think I'm going to be done with my spring card series after that. So, um, But I'm thinking about starting a birthday card series that would be kind of an ongoing series for quite a while until I built up quite a few videos. Um, a lot of the birthdays in my family happen in like February and March, and so there were so many that I just, I would kind of rush through them and I didn't really have time to make videos, but now that they're kind of spaced out a little bit more, I feel like I have the time to stop and make a video. Um, and I did make a card using this set already, and I'll share that really quick. So this is the card that I made for my nephew. He just turned 16. Um, but yeah, so I cut out like the negative of one of my spell binders, and then I stamped um, this sentiment says, a birthday is the first day of another 365 day trip around the sun. Enjoy the ride. Because obviously he turned 16, so figure driving, things like that made sense. Um, and then this is a greeting farm image. It's from the Creeper Crew set, and I think his name is Jack. 
Um, but yeah, so I colored him up and then on the inside I used some Tim Holtz stamps to just kind of stamp some fun like ink splatter and these little circles and stars and then the happy birthday is from this stamp set as well. So I was really happy with the way that came out. I thought it was pretty cool. So there's that. And then from the scrapyard, I ordered a couple of things from Devin Hickman on there again. And so I got a couple of things from the new Webster's Pages Allison Craft line. It's called Composition and Color. Um, so I got this really, really cute stamp set. I wasn't aware that these are rubber stamps, but that'll work. It's all right. <laughs> Um, I'm not a huge fan of these little snap snap click click stamps, but I really loved both of these cameras. So I went ahead and got that. And then I got one of their washies sets. Um, I mainly got it for this yellow. I'll show you what it looks like. It's a really cool kind of arrow slash chevron type thing and I absolutely loved it. So I had to get that. Um, I like the camera washi, but I don't honestly think I would ever use it. So I'm just going to see if my sister-in-law wanted it. And if not, I'll probably end up selling it. Um, just because I honestly don't think I'll ever use it. I mean, it's really cute and you can see right there kind of what it looks like. It's obviously wider. This is just the packaging that shows the different cameras on there. But yeah, so I got those. Really fun. And then I ordered some bitty bags and I just got a pack of five. They were five for a dollar. So um, she kind of just picks random colors and I really like the colors that she chose. They're really fun for summer. Um, so I got purple, pink, green, orange, and gray. And a lot of people use these on your layouts. Like you could put a tag in with journaling. Um, I plan to use these for like packaging things. Um, if I sell stuff or if I give gifts or different things like that, that's what I plan to use these for. So, really, really fun. And then she also had the larger bags in just a regular stripe. And because I'm obsessed with black and white stripes, <laughs> I got 10 of the black and white striped. And these are 5x7 bags, I believe. Um, so I thought, again, these would be great for gift giving. So, um, yeah. I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> I just like to have these little things just for little gifts. I, I have a secret sister at my church that I can, you know, package these, package things up in these. Or um, if you wanted to, you could even kind of use this as an envelope for a card and put a card inside of these ones. Um, or these ones too, if you wanted to make a little mini card. But yeah, I just thought these were really, really cute. I'm loving these. They're so cute. So yeah, that is my haul, and um, like I said, I would like to start a birthday card series. I'm not sure when I will start that. Um, things are kind of crazy in my life right now, so <laughs> I'm not sure when I will start it, but I would like to start it soon, and I will also be uploading the final video for my spring card series. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!